Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and this is question number eight now from the Pure Mathematics P3 International A Level at Excel January 2021 session. And this is um, a question about exponential, one of the newer type of topics that have come up in the P3 since they changed from C3 to P3. The percentage P of the population of a small country who has who, who have access to the internet is modeled by the equation p equals a b to the power of t where a and b are constants and t is the number of years after the start of 2005 using the data for the years between the start of 2005 and the start of 2010 the graph is plotted of log to the base 10 of p against time. The points are found to lie approximately on a straight line which has a gradient of 0 0.09 and an intercept 0 0.68 on the log to the ba base 10 p axis. Uh, find according to the model the value of a and the value of b giving your answers to two decimal places. So they've plotted the graph of the log to the base um, P against T. So you've got like something like this log to the base P against time. Right? So this is log, uh, sorry, not log to the base, log to the base 10P, which you can write just as log P because when you don't write the 10, it means it's base 10 against the time. And it says that the points are found to lie approximately on a straight line with a gradient of 0 0.09, so it's like a slight positive gradient, and an intercept of 0 0.68 on the p-axis, log to 10 p-axis. So just say that it crosses at 0 0.68, and it has a positive gradient. Okay, and the gradient of this line is equal to 0 0.09. Okay, so we started off with this equation which is p equals a, p equals a, b to the power of t. And we ended up with a log p here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log to the base 10, which, which means log, of both sides. So I'll say log p equals log a, b to the power of t. Now what I can do is I can split this up as a product into a sum. So log, to the, log p is equal to log a plus... Um, log b to the power of t. I'm just doing it step by step using the uh, the product or addition law of logarithms and now I can use the power law. This can become t times log b. So I end up with log p equals log a plus t times log b. Now the variables are log p and t. Okay, p and t are the variables here. So this is like y equals and this is like m times x plus c this is the gradient and this is the y-intercept it's like in the form of a straight line when you take logs of both sides you change it into the form of a straight line so that's why they plotted log p so we can get the straight line form so we know that log p we know that um the the y-intercept the y-intercept which is known as c is log a log to the base 10 of a and the gradient is equal to log b. So all we can say now is I know the y intercept is 0 0.68. So I can say the log of a is equal to 0 0.68. Okay, remember this is, means log to the base 10. That's what it means. So we can say a is equal to, this is the base, this is the power, 10 to the power of 0 0.68. And similarly for b, I can say log... Um, to base 10b is equal to the gradient, which is 0 0.09. So I can say now that this is to the base 10, remember? So I can say b equals 10 to the power of 0 0.09. So we have here a equals, we can write down the value. So we have 10 to the power of 0 0.68. 10 to the power of, whoops, 10 to the power of 0 
that gives you 4.786 4.7863 dot 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 they want it to two decimal places I think yep so that's a is equal to 4.79 and B is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.09 10 to the power of 0 0.09 which gives us 1.230 dot dot, which is 1.23 so that's the value of B okay 1.23 and that's the value of A 4.79 okay so then it says in the context of the model give a practical interpretation of the constant A so we know that we got P equals a times BT and P is the percentage of the population that has access to the internet at the start of 2015 so P is the the percentage of the population that has access to the population after T years okay from 2000 and what year was it 2005 so basically the constant A is the y-intercept when when t equals zero so a okay is when t equals or you can say p is equal to a when t equals zero so therefore a is the percentage a is the percentage of um people of the population who had access to the internet who had internet access at the start of the whole save the start of the whole thing okay at the start of 90 of 2005 at the start of 2005 okay so that's what a stands for the beginning the initial because when t is zero you got p equals a okay then it says use the model to estimate the percentage of the population who had access to the internet at the start of 2015. So we know that P equals A, which is 4.79 times B, which is 1.23 to the power of T. So at the start of 2015, time is going to be um, from 2005 to 2015, it's going to be 10 years. So I know that P is going, going to be 4.79 times 1.23 to the power of 10 and that will be the population or the percentage of the population who has access to the internet at the start of that year 2015 so we have to take this value and raise it to the power of 10 okay and then we have to multiply that by 4.79 and that will give us the percentage of the population which is 38.04 percent so 38.0 percent you can say 38.0 percent okay that's the estimate of the percentage of the population who had access to internet at the start of 2015 okay so there we have the answer to question number eight i think that was eight that was it that was it for eight Okay, so there we have the answer. Other questions to do or from this paper of P3 January 2021, you can find in the link that will appear over here in this corner. Um, other papers or other questions which have got something to do with exponential logarithms from P3, you will find them in this link. And you can subscribe to my channel from the uh, button over here. And on the top of the screen, um, you'll find a card taking you to a, maybe a different P3 paper you might want to answer. Thank you for watching. And see you soon.